Hey, Rich, AOK -okay product reviews. My buddy Billy came by today. Let's see if you can see that. Yeah. He brought me a Smith & Wesson OTF out the front automatic knife. Smith & Wesson. So that's, you know, that's the first thing. But he's the same guy who just got the four knives off of me. And he left me with the one knife <clears throat> I was hoping he'd leave me with. And I think he did that on purpose because he saw the video. I think he probably acted like he didn't like it. So he and I are going to have to have another conversation on that. But he brought this. And this Smith & Wesson OTF was one of the most confusing knives I have ever come across. It's kind of a cool looking OTF though. I'll tell you what, I'll give it that. Cause these are all kind of clunky. Pocket clip, little opener thing. So they're all kind of clunky, but this isn't that bad and it's got some contours. Um, yeah, fits in the hand pretty good. I'm not gonna complain about anything on it really. The thing was, was we couldn't figure out how it worked. It was it was so complicated that we just uh, almost, we gave up for a minute. So it's got a little lock right here, which is a tough little lock. See that? So first we figured that out, get that lock off. Then, we couldn't get it to open for some reason. And finally, I didn't figure it out, but there was a protective cap that was in this crease where the blade comes out. And that was kind of holding it up. It, it was like a safety thing. You know, I don't know, don't get me started. So then figured it out and now, this is this is Oz 8 steel. On a nice dagger blade. Feels pretty sharp. Definitely pointy. Now we're looking at it and we're like, what do we do now? How the hell do we get this thing back in? So we pull back. Nothing. Push forward, nothing. Look around it. Nothing. It's got this little weird thing right here. This, I'm sorry, guys. How can a company that makes, that's so famous for making such great guns, decide to put a little safety button right here and watch. In order to disengage the lock on this blade, you've got to push that with your finger going towards the blade. It makes no sense. Now you're sitting here looking at it. What do you do now? Well, it's got this little thing right here. That wasn't so hard to figure out for me. I think Billy had a little trouble with it. But yeah, this little lock release button, why they would put that up by the blade and not like try to do something right here, you know, or on the side, down lower, I don't get it, but here's the thing about OTFs. If you're not buying a ProTech or a MicroTech, what else, uh, you know, and then the real budget ones, and I say real budget, and they're still $80, $90, the Lightning and the Delta Force, which aren't bad, I guess. I mean, I I'm kind of know they are okay. I've never had a problem with them. But you never hear mention of Smith & Wesson being on that list of okay. So I don't know. Now you're going to have to, just to be safe, use your thumb on this back side. Not your finger like I was doing. So the, the, Smith & Wesson's probably saying, well, you're not supposed to use your finger like that. So I kind of get it. Because if this is a one-handed scenario, pass the thumb up over. And that's safer. So I'll get... 
I don't want to apologize because I still think there's a better way to do this. Because I can see this little nub. I can see that cracking off, breaking, whatever, bending, who knows. So now you got that and then you pull this down and lock it back down. So now I've just got to do this about a thousand times to test. Yeah, definitely if you use the thumb on the back side, it's much safer. Don't use your finger over here. So I, I was over-dramatizing. I wasn't doing that on purpose, Smith & Wesson. So don't put a gun to my head, all right? Not that you would, but yeah, back here, it's, it's really safe back there. So I'll give them that, but I still don't like that weird nub thing. It's different, and it's fun at first and cool, but then you're kind of like, practicality-wise, I give it a, I give it a three, you know? It's snappy coming out. I like that. Yeah, see, and the more and more I play with it, the more and more I'm, I'm thinking, how can I fidget with it? <laughs> and, you know, I'm sorry. It's, it's rubbing off. That generation's rubbing off on me, the fidget generation. But I, I'm, I'm starting to like it. I really am. So I'm thinking, come across, over, down. Oh, I almost. Yeah, so if you hold it down low, you can see that? Watch. Boom. Boom, boom. Man, I'm fidget. I'm a fidget pro. And I don't even know it. Yeah. Flop, bop, bibbity boo. Right there. I like this knife. I've just decided that I like it. Oh, I can't do pocket vision because I got my, my fancy neoprene winter pants on. I had to shovel snow today. Yeah, guys. See, now, this... Smith & Wesson, I'm, I'm showing everybody how to do this one-handed, but they got such a long draw on that that it's, you got to lower your, you got to lower your uh, grip on the knife in order to do all that. See, so, so you're passing it over, and I, there you go. Maybe it's just me. See, this would be my grip on the knife, okay? Are you ready? This would be my grip on the knife. So now I've got it. Now, I launched it. I'm going to drop the blade. Come down. Yep. I can't, I can't get my thumb down far enough. So maybe if they could, could have found a way physically to make it the blade clear right about here, you could do it all one-handed with a full grip. And that would be pretty cool if you think about it. So it makes you wonder, you know, did they not have an engineering room? Where they had Betsy, Billy, Bobby, and Sue in there. Going, okay, how do we, what do we got to do to make the, the public happy? And then at least get an EDC guy in there. Get, get a 20-something get a, uh, dude in there. You know, with his tight jean pants. And his, and, his, and, his, and his perfectly trimmed full beard. And his little funny cap. And his, and his little titanium beads. You know, those guys are good for something. Put them in that room. And that son of a gun would have went. Or he would have went. You're going to have to fix that. Yep. Smith & Wesson. Get in here. I got a full grip on this. And I can't do a close draw. I, I still have... I still have an inch of blade at the max of my thumb coming down on this. Who did that? You're going to have to change the spring in here. And that hippie might even know. I call him a hippie. Hipster. Because they're like, you know. Yeah. So, he may even say, hey, your recoil drawback number three spring is not strong enough. And then he'd go, see what I mean? I got a full, I got a full purchase. That's what these knife reviewers, I love that. I mean, I wonder if they're out in public and going, you know, before they get in a knife fight. And, you know, and they got their Smith & Wesson, they got their Smith & Wesson, uh, I mean, come on. Smith & Wesson OTF. Okay, get ready to get in a knife fight, right? Now, I'm one of these, uh, these real fancy knife reviewers that are like, 
and it's got to have a titanium pocket clip, and I don't like the hardware sticking out because it, it catches on my pocket, and I, I just don't like that at all, and, and, and this needs to be titanium. If it's not titanium, I just can't, I can't own a knife that's not titanium. Yeah, those guys, all right? So now you got those guys, and he's getting ready to get a knife fight, which is scary in the first place. All right, so he gets up there, and he goes, I've got a full purchase on my knife. Full purchase. Check this out, guys. Yep, this is titanium, so I'm going to be fast in hand. Fast in hand. Yep. Uh-huh. Mm-hmm. Yeah, that's how they do knife fights. So now you got this. Let's go, we're going to go back to the engineering room at Smith & Wesson. All right. Put that goober that was just in that knife fight, explaining how he had a full purchase, a full purchase on his knife. Nobody says that, guys. Stop it. You know, you got the overhead view, and you know, check that knife out. Look, and I've got a full purchase on my knife. <laughs> nah, no. Okay, I got to get up. Uh... All right, I'm back. Put that goober in the engineering room at Smith & Wesson, and he's going to tell you right now, you're going to have to change the spring in there, and you're going to have to shorten the pullback so that you can close that blade, close that blade like that, and the stop be where a normal thumb would be. And my hands are kind of big too, so if you got a little dude with little hands, sometimes they got little skinny hands and they may be able to, maybe it's because I got fat fingers, I don't know. But yeah, I really, see, I gotta, I gotta, I gotta draw, I gotta get a low purchase on my knife. This is a lower purchase. Yeah, so you get a lower purchase on your knife and now you can, see, but who the hell holds a knife like that? Holds, not purchase. You purchase a loaf of bread. You purchase a dozen eggs. You hold a knife. Yeah. All fired up. I'm all fired up. But I, I'm falling in love with this thing. Now, just I want it just to last. Because I'm going to do this. And then there's going to be a video where I'm going to say, Guys, I'm on my 11th, 1100th launch. You know what? I got like, right now about 1,300 subscribers, 1,200 something. When I get to 2,000 subscribers, I'm gonna do the 2,000th launch on this Smith & Wesson. And if it's still holding up with a low purchase, I'm gonna give this knife away to a lucky person who reminds me that I said I was gonna do this because I'll forget. Okay, that was dramatic. But this Smith & Wesson, let me grab that box. SW0TF9B. It's got eight Oz steel, Oz 8 steel, whatever. Um, it's got the dagger, it's got some safety options. So you flip this switch and it's not gonna do any of that crap. It's got this weird uh, blade lock release. It's got this little pull tab that goes zip, zip. And it's the one that needs to be a little bit, sh it, it, the stop should be here, not there. And then it would be awesome. You I mean, this would be total, this would be total EDC ready. See how I got a low purchase? Okay, okay guys, I'm not gonna make fun of them anymore, I'm sorry. I like it. Thank you, Billy. I like it a lot. You guys, take it easy. Deuces.